percentage of five individuals raped five men and got away scot free. I was still around working. By the month, the five men who got raped, oh yeah, they was out of there, put on all these drugs and shit, had to do them all kind of odd jobs before they just go ahead and and slowly push them away. But they damaged for life because that's a traumatic experience from them. So it's a it's a lot of sexual perversion and a lot of racist activity that goes on also. So it's a lot of dangers that lurk within the military. You get treated like shit off half the time, you know. So for me... Well, see this. Go on. Oh, no, I was going to say, you know, for me, I was able to see different sides that I wasn't privy to before on, like, different forms of racism, covertly, secretively, overtly, blatantly, you know, life-threatening, mm. you know, I mean, many different levels. It depends on, you know, many different situations. So the black man, there's really no place for anybody of color. It really yeah, is. Yeah, you can't fucking join the, the same people. You know, this is why I talk to black people and shit. It's like, look, don't be fucking big enough, no goddamn Buffalo Soldier. And what uh, Bob Marley was singing about was something different. You understand what I'm saying? But but whom they call the Buffalo Soldiers when these crackers used the African man to help to exterminate some of the Native Americans. You understand what I'm saying? See, this shit is still going on to this day. You understand what I'm saying? Look, the military, the military is no place for a person of color. They the real enemy. How are you going to join the enemy? So then again, we go back to this. Has the black man failed? No, the book is still open. You need to get you a black man. You you got to understand that this is a war and that things are just not going to be comfortable. See, sometimes we don't like struggle. Don't nobody like to be broke. Nobody likes to be broke. You want to be able to go and get your... Your necessities, the necessities of life. See, this is the thing that you don't see. This is what the white man is taking from you through these white supremacist systems that he has in place, not just here in America, but pretty much global. So then you see that, hey, you know, I'm not living comfortably. My man can't hold no job. Meanwhile, here come these food stamps. Oh, the white man cares for me. The white man steals every fucking thing from you and then gives you aid. Then call you a fucking welfare queen and shit. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? See, now I'm not telling you, look, get over on the fucking white man. If you fucking get some motherfucking EBT card, motherfucker, you got that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, feed your nigga too. Give him a fucking sandwich. You understand what I'm saying? See, we in the fucking war. We're in a war. We don't want to be uncomfortable. Things is not comfortable in the fucking war. The black men that didn't tell you Malcolm X wasn't fucking rich. Khalid Muhammad wasn't rich. You understand what I'm saying? It's not. It's about the poor, righteous teachers. But you got to fucking be down. Listen, I, you know, and I say it even with myself, man. Listen, if we can get the women in order, and it's not, it's going to take not being a bitch-ass nigga. Because a lot of things, like I said, just shitty attitudes and all of these things, you understand what I'm saying? The white man has cultivated these things within the woman. Black women think it's cute. And also, and many times, you know, the black woman has been, Put in roles to where that, you know what I'm saying, because of the war see, it's against the male. See, it's not that. In, in the war, it's not just the war against the male. It's the war against the totality of the family, the divine family, period. This is why they sent you to school. They made you. School is compulsory. You can fucking, if you don't want the fucking white men to teach your children or if you don't come under, even if you can fake it, you can fake it. You know, some of these homeschoolers, you know, you're teaching African culture. You understand what I'm saying? But you still have to follow, you're supposed to anyway, the curriculum of your enemy. But see, we need to make these rebel kingdoms. 
two or three black sisters. See, you've been you've been taught to fight yourselves on these shows, to be at odds with one another, to be in competition with one another. But shit in Africa, in the pre-white man America, you were proud to have your sister wives helping you out. You work together. Maybe your man can't even fucking get a job. Maybe he had a job. He lost his job. Maybe you fucked around and called the police, got him in fucking trouble with some shit out of some emotional bullshit. Because like I said, you got to stop using the system to try to chastise your man. You can't use the devil to try to chastise the true Christ, Yes, the true Haru. You understand what I'm saying? We got to stop doing that. The system don't mean you no good, sister. I mean, some of y'all going to fucking learn the hard way. But all of this shit about how fucking, look, man, I'm standing up right now. It's me and on this line. And I'm letting y'all know, any, any, any real goddess, you understand what I'm saying? You want to be, hey, you want to be a part of my, my kingdom? No, I mean, hey, I'm open for seduction. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm open for seduction. Hey, I'm taking all applications. Hey, you want to be a part of the kingdom? You need to find you a man. Find you. You see that God man that really loves his people? He might not have no goddamn money, God damn it. Maybe you fucking blessed with the money. See, and this is another thing. A lot of sisters look like a man, if he ain't got no goddamn money, he ain't shit. Just like they say, Ain't nothing going on but the rent. <laughs> Motherfucker, you shouldn't even be paying rent. Everything belongs to you in the first place. We don't know what fucking... Right now, at this particular point in life, we don't even know what it means. You don't even know how royal things would be without this scourge. You understand what I'm saying? Don't get with no motherfucker from the military, from the killitary. The, 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 the killitary teaches bitchism. That's all that shit is. People spitting all in your face. Every time a motherfucking bitch ass walks, walks up to you, you got to salute this motherfucker. He your superior. No man should want to be controlled by any man. And let me tell you all this. I'm down with any motherfucker. Let me tell you, I'm down with the American Indian. I'm down with the motherfucking, with all the aboriginals. I'm down with the motherfucking Pacific Islander. I'm down with the Dalits of India. I'm down with all of my Africans from everywhere. I'm down with the whole African diaspora in fucking the South, the East, Compton, the West Coast. If the white man is your fucking enemy, if you have actually recognized who your enemy is, I'm down. We don't got to agree on everything, but it's a lot of motherfucking agents in this fucking mix. This is why you want to know what you can do as an African, as a god or a goddess? Hey, hey, listen, man, don't give up your throne. Reestablish your throne. Motherfuckers will look at you, you're king low, huh? you, the king of what? You ain't no king. You ain't know us. Uh, what is you the king of? I don't see you. Look, man, you can see, if you know anything, you can look and see it's kings in Africa that live very humbly and modestly, but they still the head of the motherfucking village. They still the king. See, we, we, we related with money. You don't even understand the sigil magic that is on that money. But see, the women you're looking for a provider, but you need to understand. Is the man providing you with that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? Has that man brought you into knowing yourself? Told you to put some dreads in your head? Told you to wear your hair natural, baby? Don't, uh, no, you can't be showing your ass, baby. What you talking about? It's my body. You trying to control me? Goddamn right. Some of y'all motherfucking women need to know that the fucking nature of the man is to control. He's supposed to be in control. He just... He's seated on the throne. In ancient Kemet, Kemet, the queen was the throne, and he was sitting on the throne, but the king was fucking ruling. 
stop the fucking bullshit. You don't want the black men to rule, but we going to fucking rule. Men, get you some wives. Y'all, because I'm sorry you don't like it, but it's because you don't fucking know your culture. Stop being fucking jealous. A man can love more than one woman, but a woman is not supposed to have different men's energy in her, different semen running through her body. It's a devil standard. Yeah, it's a double standard. If you do this shit, you a fucking hoe. This is a fucking raw file. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, this is the mangina dick woman free zone, motherfucker. If you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. Get your own motherfucking show. You understand what I'm saying? But in this house, the black man is on the throne. The black woman is on the throne, too. She the queen. But, hey, she don't run it. So y'all brothers, a lot of y'all brothers, some of y'all is like, hey, I can't get along with the black woman. Look, make some babies anyway. Get you a woman of color. Don't go to no fucking white woman, though. That's what you can't do. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm down with everybody that has the white man as the enemy and that's going to fucking respect. What a lot of people don't understand is a lot, all, all people of color have been robbed of knowledge itself. You understand what I'm saying? We got motherfuckers, you got niggas that just, you know, you don't like fucking uh, brown people and shit. Y'all niggas occupy the same hood. Don't even, you don't even know that those are your goddamn cousins. You talking this RBG bullshit. You talking about fucking illegal aliens. They talking about shit in Marietta, you know, and they do this kind of shit to rile you up. They got so many psyops. But listen, you got a fucking ally in King Lo, the motherfucking rock star. But y'all establish your kingdoms. Get you some queens. She got to be African or indigenous, dog. Got to be a woman of color. Raise up these seeds. Even if you can't get along all of the time, listen, do your fucking best. But bring these babies. Don't be no fucking faggot. And y'all women who complain, and especially black women who complain about not having no men, is because your attitude is fucking shitty. Don't nobody want to fucking deal with your bullshit. And a lot of times you have a fucking good man, and you fucking shit on him. You don't want to fucking do what he say. The house is in fucking disorder. He can't have no peace. It's better to have peace of mind than just peace of ass. Your pussy can only go so far. But we need to build these divine relationships. Y'all sisters, you over here, I'm celibate. Nah, you dickless. You need some penile. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You need it. You need it. I know you want to go out and sipping wine and shit with your girls and going out. That's why a lot of y'all motherfuckers is eating fucking pussy. And you nasty for doing it. You nasty. A dyke is nasty. A fucking homosexual is fucking nasty. You're nasty. Shut your goddamn mouth. Don't worry about your man's other woman. If he treats you good... See, that's another thing. You've been taught to be possessive like the man. The male's nature is to be possessive. Not the fucking woman. The shit is topsy turvy. They just turn this shit upside down. Listen, this is the raw five live. You want to get at me? King Lo, the rock star at yahoo.com. That's my personal email. Get at me. Let me know some ideas of the show. Let me know how you, how you like my videos. I mean, if you need some counseling, I'm here. I mean, you want to shoot me a donation, anything. But let me tell you what I want you to do. I want you to stand up for who you are as a divine man. Goddess says, I love you. Grab on to these righteous men. Get you a king man. Be obedient. Get on his side, not the fucking cracker side. The fuck you going to choose the cracker. The Raw Fives Live. I'm King Loader Rock Star and I'm signing off. And don't get no fucking raw in this. Divinity, Ivory Time, Order of the Royal Serpent. Oh, God.